It was Gotham City before I opened it. Before that, it was Classics, and I used to bartend here when it was Classics, and prior to that, it was McNally's. Four years ago, I would say, was about the time that we really started getting into it more. Jeff, uh, who bartends and works the door and stuff, he started doing bookings, uh, open mics on Monday nights. Um, and then the local people just started to kind of flock here. Shot of vodka. Dude, I'm out of here. I know, I know. And another classic, classic bus station story, which I've seen probably a hundred different times with a hundred different people, is uh, I'm about to go upstate, turning myself in. You know, they're going away for three years, and they come in here to get a good jag on their last their last couple free hours. You know, you give them a couple of free drinks, and that's the case. Well, you know, you, you let them slide on one here and one there when they when they really have a good sob story going on. You ask them what they did? Uh, I, I try to kick back, and often after they've had a couple, if they want to hang out and they want to tell you, those are the kind of guys that will just let you know. I try not to dig too deep because some people get a little weird about their uh, their court cases and all that. You know, They don't want you to know all the details right off. But once they bring it, I mean, it flows. I mean, it's once the levee breaks, that's, that's it. It's a complete flood of madness. They'll tell you their whole life story. But I try not to dig too deep because sometimes I'd actually rather not know. But all the fun parts when there's people around hanging out. When it's when you're spread too thin, that's that's what I want behind the bar. You know, I want to be like so many people around, so much going on that you can't even take it. That's when you're running at full capacity. You know, you don't ever want to have any downtime because then you end up having to clean things, and that's no fun. I'd rather serve drinks. It makes more money for me. You know. As we started getting more bands that wanted to play, we had to start getting people that were going to do booking for us. And initially, as to not have to hire someone just to do the job, Jeff, who did started the open mic, pretty much. Your left? No, my, my left. Okay. Right. I came here. I became friends with Billy, the bartender, and uh, I said, "Man, I would love to do an open mic." And he said, uh, "Yeah, uh, I would too, but Larry doesn't have a PA system." My first. It, what turned out to be my first co-host of the open mic was sitting at the end of the bar. I had no idea who he was. His name was Adam Brandt. Good guy. Um, he, at the end of the bar, he goes, well, I got a PA. And two weeks later, the open mic started. And now we're uh, coming up in June on three years of open mic. And it's to the point where they, I mean, they're, they're, they're gobbling up so many days. I mean, we're booked two months in advance. Basically, uh, I find bands, or they find me, and just try to get genres together, make sure everybody meshes well, and um, just promote the hell out of the show, you know? Just get everybody excited and want to come, and have the bands excited to be here, and, you know, uh, like I said, just basically promote the hell out of it. Punk show, mostly, so it's going to be very loud, very fast. We were retarded when we were writing the set list. <laughs> I love coming to Cousin Larry's just because it's it's a new scene. It's 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 fresh, like it's defibrillator in the scene around here. Sorry about the cursing, I'm sure you're gonna have to edit it later. Right? Okay, so, okay. so I read it the next day, I'm in the article, you know, it's my name. And then, like, two days later, I get a call from my company going, Did you talk to the media about 
or stuff, and I'm like, this isn't gonna end good. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I talked to him, you know, I was like, I was defending us, and they're like, no, you're, you're not supposed to talk to them at all. I was like, oh, well, I, I don't know, you know, I didn't get fired for anything. They didn't, all right, that's all that's Yeah, yeah, I didn't get fired for anything, but, you know, they told me. What's your first and last name? Good times though, Danbury times.